Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, we are making some crock pot recipes in this video. I've got three recipes that I'm going to be sharing with y'all. Getting ready to make the first one, so I'm excited to share the recipes and share what my thoughts are. I've made one of these before. It's been so long ago that I can't remember how much I liked it. So we're going to make it again. So these are really good fall recipes as it's getting cooler in the cooler months. I love making like soups and chili and like comforting foods like that in the crock pot. And a twist on it is these are all Weight Watcher friendly recipes. So you guys that follow Weight Watchers, these are going to be uh, good lower point healthier recipes for you guys to try. So all of them are uh, pretty low in points. I will share those as we get into the video. Um, all of them are actually, I was looking on Pinterest last night trying to decide what recipes that I wanted to make this week. Some of my favorite uh, websites for like uh, healthier Weight Watcher recipes. I love emilybites.com, drizzle me skinny, the skinnishdish.com. Uh, sweet savory stuff. So I was looking on some of those websites yesterday and all these recipes are actually from the skinniestdish.com just because they looked so good and I was like, you know what, let's just kind of try those recipes. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the first one. If this little guy will let me put him down. What are we going to make first? Oh, we're going to get started with our first recipe. The very first recipe we're going to be making is called Slow Cooker Beef and Tater Taco Chili. So this looks really good. I'm actually probably the most excited to try this one. Um, so to go in this, we've got some beef broth. We're going to do some tomato sauce, some uh, fat-free refried beans. And we're not going to do this whole can. We're going to do like I don't know most of it and then we got some rotel we've got some black beans we're gonna do some frozen corn or you can also do canned corn or fresh corn um ground beef we got some hash browns we're gonna do it says three cups so probably the majority of this bag uh, and then all of our spices, all of these we had here except for onion powder. So this is the only thing I had to pick up because I was out of that. We've got onion powder. We're going to do a little bit of red pepper flakes, some paprika. We're going to do some oregano. We've got ground cumin. We've got chili powder. We've got garlic powder and some seasoning salt. So I'm going to get started with the ground beef and cook that up and then add everything to the slow cooker. This is a pretty easy recipe. All of them are pretty easy, I feel like. Okay, so I've got my ground beef. I'm gonna throw it in. I drained it. By the way, I'm using 93% lean ground beef. And then my tomato sauce, I opened the wrong one. I was supposed to do a 15 ounce can, but I opened the eight ounce. So I'm gonna save the eight ounce can because I have another recipe. And I'm gonna do that one. So I'm gonna do a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. I'm doing two cups of low sodium beef broth. We've got one and two. And then I need uh, 15 ounces of beans. I'm just gonna put like most of the can in here because this is 20 ounces. Does anybody else hate the look of canned refried beans? I think they look so gross. I'm gonna put most of them. And then one can of the Rotel. And then I've got a can of black beans that I've drained, but not rinsed. All right, next I'm gonna put most of these. It says uh, three cups of shredded hash browns. I'm, gonna, I'm just using these simply ones, but you can also use like uh, frozen ones as well. So I'm just gonna put the majority of these in here. I'm actually not gonna lay it out. So I'm gonna say that's about three cups. I'm gonna do two cups of corn on the plan that I do corn is zero point, so I'm not gonna weigh that either. Of course, if you're on the green plan, you might wanna weigh everything out. Yeah, we're gonna have this for dinner tonight, baby. Right, we're gonna start with our seasonings now. I'm gonna do one and a half teaspoons of onion powder. By the way, you're gonna hear my kids in these videos. 
Millie's underneath me wanting up here. So we're gonna, we're just gonna roll with it. Then we're gonna do a teaspoon of garlic powder, two teaspoons of chili powder, one and a half teaspoons of the seasoning salt, two and a half teaspoons of the cumin, a teaspoon of oregano, we're gonna do a half a teaspoon of the smoked paprika, probably a little much, and then just a pinch of red pepper flakes, just like this tiny bit. Maybe a tiny bit more. All right, that is everything. I'm gonna give this all a good stir. This is a lot, so this made a really big batch. So, Millie wants to help me stir. You wanna stir it? Yeah. So I'm going to give it a really good stir to get these seasonings really good mixed together. All right, come help me stir. All right, take the spoon and you stir it around. Yeah, you may help you. It's kind of heavy. It's kind of heavy. It looks good, don't it? Are you gonna help me eat it tonight? Nah. Nah? You don't think it looks good? Yeah. Okay, we'll see. Maybe you can at least try it. All right, I'm gonna stick the top on it. We're gonna cook it on low for the next eight hours and that'll be right at dinner time. I know y'all hear Callan, but all right. So we're gonna let this cook all day. So I think it's done. It smells really good. And so I'm getting ready to plate it up and add the toppings that I want to add to it. I think I'm going to do some cheese. I've got these little tortilla strip things. And I think I'm going to do sour cream on mine. All right, so we're going to go ahead and plate this up. We've got our bowls. I've got some sour cream. We've got some Velveeta shreds. I have these for myself. And I'm not sure if Ethan will want these or he may want like regular tortilla chips that I realize we have. So either one of those. I'm going to top mine with some of these. I think I can have a point worth of these, like some of the, you know, a few of them for a point. So I think I'm just going to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and plate this up and give it a try. So you can have a, a cup and a half of this for four points. And that is, let me go make sure of that. That is on the blue plan. Purple plan is two. And then the green plan is a little bit more. I can't remember exactly. I'm gonna add a couple points worth of cheese and let that start melting. Callan's in his little swing. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let that melt just a little bit. And then I'm gonna add a few of these and a little bit of sour cream. All right, I'm just gonna add just a few of these little tortilla strips. All right, and then I've got just a little bit of sour cream on here and that it's gonna be mine. Does that look good, Millie? Okay, so I'm getting ready to try it. I did look up uh, the points for those of you guys here. I said, now this is definitely like, don't have to be a Weight Watcher. It, you don't have to follow Weight Watchers to do this recipe. It's just the points are um, in the post, but it's four for blue, two for purple, and seven for green. So that's what it looks like. The cheese is good and melted. So I'm gonna go ahead, it made a lot of food. So I'm gonna get it like a little bite of everything and I'm gonna give it a try. I like the twist with the um, potatoes in it. I love potatoes, anything with potatoes. Thumbs up, it's really good. Lots of um, leftovers for the week too. So it's really good with the cheese on it. Sour cream, of course. I love sour cream. Tortilla strips. All right, it is the next day. We're gonna get started on another crock pot recipe, and this is crock pot beef stew, which sounds really good. I'm gonna serve this over some really easy mashed potatoes for dinner tonight. That I feel like this is gonna remind me of my favorite. I love making Mississippi uh, roast and putting it over potatoes, and so. Um, I'm gonna do it this way and I feel like it's just gonna give me that vibe because Mississippi roast over potatoes is my favorite meal ever that I cook and my girls as well. They don't like the potatoes, but they love the Mississippi roast um, plain. Um, but that is my favorite meal that I cook. It's a super easy meal and it's just my favorite and so I feel like this is gonna kind of give me that vibe. I feel like it's such a good fall recipe uh, beef stew. So we're gonna get started making that. I've got all my ingredients laid out. 
So to make this, we've got some frozen corn again. We've got some carrots. We've got some celery. We're gonna do garlic. I've got an onion that, I literally just got this onion and it does not look good. So I'm hoping I can cut off this end of it because this end looks fine. So at least use most of it. Worcestershire sauce, bay leaves. I've got the tomato sauce that I didn't use yesterday that I opened. We're gonna do some beef broth. I've got this um, chuck tender roast that I'm gonna cut up. Brown sugar and some uh, flour. And I think this is all of our ingredients. I'm gonna get started chopping up all the veggies, chopping up the meat and getting it in the crock pot. I've got my crock pot liner. I've got my veggies chopped. I'm getting ready to go ahead and start uh, chopping my meat. I'm going to trim it really good and then uh, I'm going to chop it in about one inch pieces and add some flour. I'm going to throw all of it in here and then add some flour to it and go ahead and uh, start putting everything into the crock pot. Meat is chopped. I'm gonna go ahead and put some salt and pepper all over it. And then I'm gonna add three tablespoons of flour. All right, I'm just gonna stir this all around and I'm gonna put the rest of everything into the crock pot. Give it another good stir. So I'm gonna let that cook on high for a couple hours, then I'm gonna turn on low for the rest of the day, and then we've got a couple more things to add to it like at the end. Yes, I know my crock pot looks very dirty, which I'm trying to clean it. It's just like stuck on stuff on there. Um, but I've actually had that uh, since we got married 10 years ago, almost 10 years ago this month. I did wanna share that Sometimes I have to put like a voiceover over my videos and a lot of times when I do that Like sometimes I just do it just to do it But a lot of times it's when my house is so loud that I can't talk without y'all like hearing all the noise above me probably and that's just how life is right now and so I am never gonna have like perfect videos where everything like goes perfectly and everything's super professional or anything I've got small kids and um, you're just gonna get like the real life loud noises. And if I waited until my kids were quiet or until my house was quiet, I would never get videos filmed, never. I would never be able to get videos out. And so, especially my husband works full time. I stay home full time, working on YouTube full time. And um, even with uh, the two older girls in school, it's still really tough with the two. With the, she's asking for a tablet with the two small ones. So, okay, let's get it, grab it, and I'll turn it on. Millie's eating lunch, so she wanted to watch her tablet for a few minutes before nap time. But yes, if I tried to wait until my house was super quiet, I would never get videos out. And so sometimes I cut out a bunch of stuff, sometimes I might leave it again, and sometimes I do a voiceover over it so you're not hearing screaming or maybe even crying sometimes when I'm trying to get something done. Like I was trying to finish that up super quickly, and Callum was not happy and ready for his nap. But I knew I had to get this crock pot rest. I had to get this uh, food in the crock pot so it would be done in time. So anyways, I just thought I'd share that. Um, but I think this recipe is going to be good. I'm excited to finish it up and try it later on. All right, coming back in here to this. It has been cooking on high for longer than I wanted it to. I have actually, oh, 
Okay, I've actually forgot about it. So it's been on high for probably more than two hours, which I want. I didn't even want it to go on high for two hours. So now I'm gonna turn it to low and let it cook the rest of the day on low, and then hopefully it'll be good. I actually wanna check it now and just kinda see how things are going and see if the carrots are, oh yeah. So we're gonna let it cook on low the rest of the day, or yeah, the rest of the day. I prefer to cook things on low in the crock pot versus high. I don't know, I just like the, I feel like it gets more tender, but I just haven't been able to get things in on time lately, or the past couple days. All right, so I think it's done. It's been cooking for several hours. Feels, I think it's pretty tender too. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add some corn to it. I think potatoes would be really good in this too, but this recipe don't call for potatoes, but I could definitely throw some potatoes in there and I would love that. So I'm gonna add some frozen corn. I'm just gonna dump some in there. Uh, I'll probably just do about that much. Um, I'm just gonna give that a good stir. So the last part is you're going to do, uh, I actually did two tablespoons of flour, two tablespoons of water to thicken it. Her recipe calls for three tablespoons of each. However, mine, I feel like mine is not as like juicy as hers. So I'm not going to do as much. And then I'm going to pour this in and we're going to let this, uh, give this about 30 more minutes to thicken. But it's going to be a while before we eat it. The girls have gymnastics tonight. So I'm gonna just give this a good stir, put the pot or the top duck on it, let it cook for about 30 minutes, and then keep it on warm until we are ready to eat. All right, guys, it is done. I've actually already had a bite and it is very tender, so it's cooked up really well. And then to go with them, super easy side, especially if we've had a busy night. Um, so we just got these done. These are the great value. These are what they are. The Great Value, or Members Mark, same thing from Sam's Club. Um, so these are really good. We've had these before. And so I'm gonna get started plating everything. You can have a half a cup of these for four points. So I'm gonna do like, I don't know, about that, I guess. And we're gonna take some of this. Yummy. So that's what it looks like. It looks good, so let's try it. So this recipe, I'm counting it as seven points. Actually on the website, she had like the nutrition info. So the info she had, I put it in my calculator on Weight Watchers. And so I got seven points. So that's what I'm counting it as. And then the potatoes are four. Um, so I've already tried it, like I said, and it was very super tender. It's like falling apart and it was had a really good taste. So let's try it with the potatoes. This one's my favorite so far. I, I think I actually like this one better than yesterday's meal. But one thing it needs, it needs some pepper. And it needs a little bit more salt. I give this one definitely two thumbs up. So definitely give this one a try for sure. I really, um, really like this one. Hey guys, it is the next day. I'm here for one more crock pot recipe. I actually was not gonna do three days in a row of crock pot recipes. I was gonna do Monday, Tuesday, and then Thursday. However, I thought I'm actually doing a recipe that I was not gonna do this week. I actually have everything here for it. So I'm switching up what I was, instead of the recipe I was gonna do, I'm gonna save that for like next week because I'm just not really feeling it today and it's too similar to what we had like Monday night, I feel like. so. We are gonna be making the last crock pot recipe. This is the easiest recipe. This is so easy to do and it's really good. Um, so we're gonna be making crock pot chicken, barbecue chicken, and we're gonna turn it into sandwiches. You could do it plain. I actually like to eat it plain, honestly. I, I'll probably make a sandwich later, with it later. So I had everything here for it except for the buns. So um, when Ethan gets off, I'll just ask him to swing by and grab some buns and we'll have everything we need for this dinner. This is a super easy recipe. It is very low in Weight Watcher points if you guys are following Weight Watchers and um, it's very simple. So let's get started making this last recipe. I'm excited for this one. I've made it before. It's super good. 
Um, I don't think I've made it with this barbecue sauce though, so let's get started. All right, so what you're gonna need for this recipe, you're gonna need some chicken. Um, I just have about a pound and a half of chicken breasts here. Then we're gonna use some, we're gonna do this Sweet Baby Ray, not Sweet Baby Ray's, I wish I was using Sweet Baby Ray's, uh, but G Hughes barbecue sauce is really good. So we're gonna do this sugar-free. Oh, did you spill something? I'm so sorry, it's okay. Did you spill a little something on your pretty dress? It's okay some of her oranges okay but anyways we're gonna do this g hughes sugar-free sweet and spicy i love the sweet and spicy one then we're gonna do some brown sugar and i've got a little bit of water here that i'm gonna also put in here okay so the first thing i'm gonna do i've already lined my crock pot got my crock pot liner in here i'm gonna cook this on low until later on when we're ready to eat it and i'll shred it and we'll be ready to eat it I can get this chicken open. You're not gonna like my protein bars, baby. Well, you probably would, but um, I gotta save those. Those are limited edition protein bars, baby. You can't have those. All right, so I'm just gonna do all of this chicken. It's got three chicken breasts. Do you wanna help me pour this in here? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do a fourth of a cup of brown sugar. I'm gonna let Millie pour the brown sugar in the bowl. All right, dump it in. Oh. There you go. Dump it in there. And Daddy, then you can really add. Good job. Thank you. You can add. I'm going to do just like a half a cup of water. You could do a little bit more. And I may put a little bit more if I feel like it needs it. But I think um, this is plenty. And then I'm going to use most of this bottle. You're going to help me pour it. Most of this bottle of the barbecue sauce. I might save a little bit to like um, put on top of the sandwiches after we get them like ready to go. But I'm going to use at least like the majority of this. Okay, that's what we're going to use and we're going to save the rest. I think that's plenty. Okay, so then we're going to whisk it up. You going to help me? Yeah. Alright, whisk it together. So Millie's going to give it a good whisk and then we'll pour it on top. Alright, so I've got my sauce. We're just going to pour it all over the chicken. Yeah. So easy definitely the easiest recipe and then we're gonna cook it on low for about six or so hours and then we will be ready to put it on the bun chop it up put it on the buns and be ready to go thank you thanks for helping me so it has been six hours whoa and the chicken should be good to go yep it has fallen apart and it smells so good so I'm just gonna kinda, actually what I do, this right here just always shreds it like so perfectly without me having to like take it out and shred it up. So it looks really good and we are ready to eat it. Ethan stopped on his way home from work. He grabbed some hamburger buns. He just grabbed this pack right here and then I think what we're gonna do is some chips with it I'll probably just do um, probably something different not these kind of chips but we're keeping it very simple tonight with our sandwiches it's a busy night with church so super quick easy crock pot dinner for tonight and I think what I'm gonna do now that it's done I'm just gonna pour the rest in here instead of pouring it on top of our sandwiches there's not much in here just pour the rest Got to give it a little more flavor with the sauce and give that a stir. We're gonna eat in probably like 15 to 20 minutes, so let that kind of heat in here. So I've got the buns just heating just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. And just I probably sh didn't have to shred that so much, but it's okay. There we go it's gonna be messy but that's okay all right quick easy simple dinner for tonight um the only thing you're really counting is the brown sugar you put in here um the barbecue sauce is like hardly any points so i don't even count that for the amount i would you know put in here um so like maybe a couple points and then plus the bun whatever bread you use so that is gonna be our dinner for tonight i'll just probably add some kind of chip with it so i hope you guys enjoyed this crock pot recipe video let me know if you guys enjoyed this and i'll have to um be sure to do these more often maybe some like air fryer ones 
one pot meals, things like that. I will leave the recipes below that I did include in this video. So I'm going to go eat supper. So I hope you guys did enjoy it and I'll see you guys soon for another one. Bye.